I've got my little helper here. Okay, <laughs> she's helping a ton. I'm opening packages and she's all about packaging. Anything she can grab and take off with, she's gonna do that. Okay, so I moved to my counter so Winnie wouldn't eat all the packaging. So this is the first package from Laura Lee Los Angeles. She came out with a Nudie 2 palette, which is a smaller version of her original Nudie Patootie. So here's the palette. I like how it's more compact and it has really pretty kind of neutral leaning pinky shades. So I'll swatch a couple of those. And then her brushes came, which I've never tried. So I'll be interested to give those a try as well. Here's a close up shot of the brushes. They feel really nice. They have a gold ferrule and then they have her logo on there, but I like how weighted they feel. And they also have kind of like that pinky beige matte handle. So we'll have to try these in a trying new makeup. So here are the shades in the palette. They look really beautiful. And a couple of them are very, very like high shine glittery. So I'm gonna show you a couple swatches. So here are some of the swatches and you can see how like glittery and then some of them are just metallics, but other ones have like glitter in them. My bulldog is literally snoring so loud. It's like distracting me, but here we are. So next up we have a collection from ColourPop. And I think this is called the Wine Knot. So it's a wine colored themed uh, collection. I will say this is probably the deepest in depth collection I've seen ColourPop do. So kudos to them for that. These blushes are super rich in color, so I feel like if you have a tan skin tone, a deep skin tone, this is going to be your collection. Same thing with the palette. I'm going to open it in a minute, but it actually reminds me of the Huda Beauty Nudes, but the Nude Deep or Dark. I don't know which one it's called, but very rich colors. Here's the inside of the palette. So you can see it's pretty deep and rich, which is not the norm for ColourPop. There's really only two shades in here that are light. Uh, the rest of them have a pretty good amount of depth, so I feel like Pretty much any skin tone could wear this uh, palette, which is nice because a lot of times, you know, half the shades are like a cream or, you know, a light beige color. It's not going to work for a lot of people. So here are some swatches and you can see like the depth on these mattes specifically. The only thing I will say is it's pretty shimmer heavy and some of those mattes have the glitter particles in them, but it's a very rich color story, which I do like. And then lastly for packages today, I am so impressed and in love with Jackie Ina's candle brand, uh, Forever Mood. These are the best candles I've ever tried. So I decided to get these on Black Friday because if you ordered these, which is two in each one, so four candles, then you got a free mini set. Here is the little mini set that I got for free. It's a $48 value. And you have the little four in here, which was really cute. So I'm gonna gift this to a family member. But I just thought this was so cute. Now, the one thing I will say is the shipping on these candles takes forever. She's a new business, so don't think you're going to get it in like a week or two. Like, be ready to wait four, five, six weeks. But once you get them, they're incredible. So I want to show you these and then kind of describe the scents. So this is her home for the holidays. Like, everything's funny, like open to get lit. This is her duo. So you have Naughty Nice and Fine Pine. So here is the packaging. So they all have this kind of like matte coating and it says Fine Pine, the bottom. And then these are one wick, but I'm telling you the throw on these, I've never smelled a candle that smells stronger. And this one smells just like you would think. It is very much like a Christmas tree, pine tree scent. And then the other one in this set is called Naughty Nice. This is Ian's favorite. This one to me smells like masculine. So this one is kind of like unisex, masculine, almost like, I'm trying to think like a Christmas masculine, think like flannel from Bath and Body Works kind of thing, but a little bit more spicy. And then here's the other set, Slay Season. So this is white. You get two in here. So you have Ginger Bread Trap House and you up. I have one, I think I'm burning, it's called like Hey Big Head. And every time I read it, I'm like, <laughs> but it smells so good. So you up is definitely cinnamon based. It's like cinnamon vanilla Christmas cookie, but spicy. So definitely has that cinnamon backing, but it's like a staple Christmas scent. And then gingerbread trap house, very similar to the last one. It has cinnamon base, but not as strong, but this is again, just like a I feel like it's like a baked goods kind of like you're baking like a cinnamon kind of cake. So it's just really like a warm gourmet scent. Okay, so I want to show you guys how I make my coffee. So this is what I use in the morning. I was drinking energy drinks for the longest time and they were breaking me out, causing headaches. If you're dealing with breakouts and you're drinking energy drinks every day, definitely try to 
stop them for a week and see what happens. So I just use the Chameleon Cold Brew. I like the vanilla. I've tried other ones and I get this at Target. And then I use the Premier Protein Caramel. I've tried the cinnamon and I don't like it. So I usually just take this and fill this about halfway. And I have a full thing of ice, so maybe a little bit more than halfway. And then I basically just fill the rest with the Premier Protein. So I essentially just fill this up to the top. Then you can see it's like nice and NC20. <laughs> and then I just kind of stir it around. I use the, um, these metal straws from Amazon. I just woke up y'all, okay? And I'm new to this whole vlogging situation. That is my coffee thing. I know it's like so YouTube like, oh my God, look at my coffee. I'm going to Starbucks. Like I know that's like a whole thing, but uh, this is what I do every day. Like if I don't have my coffee, I will freak out because the caffeine is much needed. So I want to show you guys my new coffee table. I showed this on Instagram, but I realized a lot of you follow me on YouTube don't maybe have Instagram. So I got this from CB2. It's like my first big purchase from them because they're quite expensive. But I got this on Black Friday and I am obsessed with it. I just wanted something different, not as like bulky. I had a glass one before that we just took downstairs, but I'm loving it. It's like the perfect size. And then we just have a couple little things on there. But basically we can put our remotes and candles. Uh, and then if you're wondering what this is, this is a step up for my bulldog who has arthritis. It's not the prettiest, but it does the job. And then here's the pig. He's very busy right now. He's taking a nap. He sleeps most of the time. Then he gets crazy and wants to play a little bit. But I just want to tell you about my new coffee table because I'm loving it. And it's just one of those things that I've wanted for so long. But I was like, oh, the price tag was killing me. But I think it's worth it because it's going to last for a very long time. All right, change of plans. I was supposed to go get my hair done today, which was booked like seven weeks ago. But I got a text from my stylist that her son woke up with a runny nose and she can't take him to daycare. So we're going to reschedule. So I have some errands to run. I have to go pick up some prescriptions for my doctor, which is like the most annoying thing I have to do. And then it's snowing. So I'm trying to like beat the snow. So I have a, you know, as per the usual, um, YouTuber plug, I have my coffee and I'm raring to go at eight o'clock and I'm tired if you really want the truth. So, um, my hair is thrown in a bun and I'm kind of like shit that she rescheduled because my hair looks like absolute dog shit. So anyways, I got my nails done, um, yesterday. So I got this like pretty Christmas vibe. I'm very much into the Christmas spirits and vlogging is so new to me. Like I don't even have a tripod or anything for my phone so we're just kind of like winging it and i hope you guys aren't like this is the most tragic vlog i've ever seen so anyways i gotta get moving it's snowing maybe i'll throw in some really cute snowy shots you know just to make it like a1 youtube vlog content so stay tuned for that I didn't know that Target carried native. I think I want to try one of these body washes. I love their deodorant. We have candy cane and sugar cookie. Oh, for sure. I'm gonna go for sugar cookie and I will update. Looking at these lashes, they look really pretty. Eye lure. They also have the Pro Magnetic, which I've never tried and I'm afraid to try. <laughs> but I've heard good things. But I'm like, mm, maybe I'll stick with the regulars. I also see this. This is Maybelline Lifter Gloss, but I've never seen this shade called Ice. I wonder if it's just clear, though. Or if it has pigment. I love these glosses, though. Also at the Elf part. I've heard great things about this from a lot of people, but I love Sarah East. I think I'm going to grab that. I'm just looking at more of their products. A lot of the times it's hard for me to get the brand new stuff. Just because it's not in stores yet near me. I always have to be like hunting for the new. This actually looks nice. Flat top foundation brush from Sonia Kashuk, $10. I think I'm gonna grab one of those too. They even have more over here, like a buffing brush for nine. Which I believe is this one, right? These feel nice. Hmm. What'd you think, Wien? She loves snow. Oh, they're both excited. Winnie doesn't play with Pub because she's afraid. It's fun. 
She loves it. What you think, Ween? Look how cute she is. Come on, Weenie! Come here, Weenie! <laughs> Good girl! You can definitely tell she where she's from. She came from Idaho. And they definitely probably get more slow, or more slow, more snow. Cause she seems to like snow more than just like regular grass. There she goes. <laughs> She's like, pick me up, dad. Hey. Guess who's giving her a bath tonight? Me and the kitty. <laughs> <sighs> You love daddy, huh? Stinky girl needs a bath. The good news is that she fits perfectly into our sink at the kitchen. <laughs> you can definitely tell that she's been groomed because she doesn't really like complain about it. So she likes to be brushed and all that and she needs it because her coat is insane. It's also funny because you can see her body when her hair's all wet. Her body. She's chonky. Bitch is thick, yo. We're trying to get some weight off her, but she's like hungry as fuck. Now we have a little snug bug in a rug. Snug bug in a rug? Yeah. Oh, Look how ready. cute. Little angel girl. She'll probably have the zoomies here in a little bit. So here's our Christmas tree. We're not the crazy decoration people. It's kind of wild at it it's really been driving me crazy but this is basically the extent of our decorations we have our little nutcracker over there which i love i think i got that from target and then we just have a couple little things and then we have a reindeer what the fuck are those <laughs> <laughs> fuck you laughing at i thought your crack was gonna be out where do you come <laughs> so we are starting to redo our bathroom our master so we just had this painted today behind the big mirror there was like a big stock mirror so we painted that and then we have this new light fixture i'm in love with it, it has black accents it's kind of hard to see so waiting on the mirrors to come in we're going to put two mirrors and then we put these faucets in Oh, the countertop's dirty from doing all this stuff, but put the faucets in. So I like those. And then we're going to put black knobs on the cabinets. And then this is what I hate. <laughs> this flooring, I just hate it. It came with the house and we redid the bathroom downstairs, but we never did this. So definitely want to redo this. We've been holding off, but I think because of COVID, I'm like, we need to change some stuff. So Excited to get the mirrors up and then the painting done and then obviously clean this off, do the knobs. Then we're going to work on the floor. And then the last thing we have to work on is this shower, which I hate. <laughs> I absolutely don't like this. So we're going to work on this. I don't think we're going to do a ton other than just replace the glass door and replace the frame just because we don't like the frosted glass. We just want like clear glass. So... Once we do that in the floors, I can share it with you, but we're making progress. I'm very happy with my light. And then I can't wait to show you guys like the mirrors and the knobs. I think they're gonna come in later this week. If you don't know anything about bulldogs, they're very expensive. And they need lots of wiping and powders and creams. So he's getting his eye drops. As it gets older, he's very much like, I'm not into this. So we just have to kind of be patient with him. And then he has this cream that goes around his eyes to, <laughs> to help with that redness. So it's like an ongoing battle, like every day. We figure out one thing and then it's like he's flaring up here. Like his eyes look good, but then his feet are red. And then his feet look good and then under his chin is red. So he does pretty good. He just... He tries to protest for a minute, and then once he realizes he's not going anywhere, then he just kind of lets you do it. With a little bit of dramatics. Good boy. Thank you, sir. 
You did a good job, baby. There's our babies over there. I think she has three. Hey, Mom. I feel so bad. We had a salt lick and it must have fallen. And that's what she's looking for. Oh, man. My neighbor just texted me. She's waiting for you to bring out lunch. Oh, man, I feel bad. Our salt lick is gone. I'm going to have to tell Ian. I can't tell if these are the three babies and mama's in the woods. That might be mama walking away. I don't know. They look the same size. They're so cute. There they go. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so I'm filming a, another video. I'm doing a comparison between the e.l.f. Cosmetics new CC Camo Cream with the IT Cosmetics CC Cream because a lot of people are saying it's a dupe. So far, so good. I just applied it about an hour ago, so I'm gonna do a wear test. So I'm kind of doing that, doing some editing, and yeah, that's what's on the menu today. I'm using my vlogging camera. I didn't really know how to set it up and to be honest, camera stuff like really stresses me out. So I was using my iPhone, but the quality on this is a lot better. I'm still learning like how to use this. So forgive me if I'm like zoomed in or the lighting's not perfect, but we will get with it. And then I also have a tripod on the way, like a handheld one so that I can carry this around without basically dropping it and breaking it. So anyways, I think I might show you guys what I picked up at Target yesterday. I inserted some clips, but you know, because I'm a newbie, I didn't take like any clips of like outside of Target or a clip saying, hey, I'm going to Target. <laughs> so we will learn as time goes on. You're probably like, this is the most jumbled vlog I've ever seen, but just give me a little bit of time to figure out the flow. So I might kind of set things up and show you guys what I picked up yesterday. So I want to do a little haul on the products that I picked up at Target. I kind of included those clips of me kind of shopping around. So the first thing I got was the e.l.f. camo sponge. I've heard I Love Sarah E. talking about this and it's a kind of interesting shape. I don't know if I have any sponges this size, but I will say it feels very similar to the Fenty Beauty sponge, just like the texture of it. It's a little bit more porous, but very soft. But I've heard her rave about this and I've seen some other people as well. So I could see how just like doing your concealer, this would be nice. And I think it is specifically meant for the camo concealer. So I thought I would pick this up because it was super affordable and I want to give it a try. So next I got these little clips. I actually have two in my hair right now. These are just tiny like jaw clips. And I needed a way to get my hair out of my face sometimes because it drives me crazy having it all down. Like even this piece right here is trying me right now. I saw my friend Cheryl use something like this and kind of pull her hair out of her face. So that's why I picked them up. I never thought to use stuff like this. I can't typically do like the flat clips because just the way my hair is set up, it looks weird. So I actually need like a little claw clip. These are really, really small. They had to step up from this, but I thought I would try these out and I like them so far, super cheap. And then you guys saw me eyeing these lashes. So I did pick up both styles. These are from Eyelore, the Luxe Cashmere. The first one I got was number eight. These just seem like all over fluffy lashes. I hope this camera's focusing since I'm new to this, but I thought these were really beautiful. I've tried Eyelore lashes in the past, but nothing recently, but these just stood out to me. And then also these ones are really, really pretty. These are the number six. So this is what they look like. Now they had a bunch of the magnetic lashes and I'm afraid to use those. I've seen a lot of people sponsored and using them. So let me know down below if you've tried them and what your experience has been. But I just thought these styles are really pretty. So I thought I could incorporate them into some tutorials coming up. You guys saw me kind of stop and check out Sonia Kashik. So I did get two brushes. The first one I got was called the flat top foundation and you can use this for powders or liquids. It feels really nice and soft. Sonia Kashik is one of those brands that I haven't tried in quite a while, but I was in Target without Ian. I have to say, my husband is not the type that's gonna go to like Target, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx to look for like decor. He has just zero patience for that. Like, if I can get to the makeup aisle without him like whining for like 10 minutes, that's a huge plus. So when I'm alone, I really have the time to look and that's why I was really checking out Sonia Kashik. But this brush looks really nice for foundation. I tend to prefer flat top or maybe even rounded top but a little bit more give i know in the past we had like the sigma was it the f80 and it felt a little bit too stiff 
This one feels nice and kind of in the middle. It's dense, but it still has some give. Then I also picked up this one, which is kind of from their rose gold collection. They had a bunch of ones if you saw the little clip, but this is their radiant buffing brush. Very similar to the other one, but a little bit longer bristles. And I thought this would be very similar to my Sonia G. There's a hair. <sighs> You know when you have a hair and you just have to like pull it straight out of your head? It's like a savage, that's what just happened. But this reminded me of my Sonia G Face One that I adore. Obviously I probably will still prefer my Sonia G, but I thought I would try this out and I think it was nine bucks. And then I saw they had sponges, like a bunch of sponges. So I picked up this one, it's called the Filter and it was five bucks. I thought this might be nice for cleaning up your contour or the sides of your nose. It feels pretty soft. It's not as soft as a beauty blender. Well, maybe. It's pretty soft. Nobody ever talks about Sonia Kashuk. And then you guys saw me look at Native. I didn't know that Target carried Native, but I got the body wash in Sugar Cookie. I really like the packaging of it. This is sulfate free, paraben free. They had like peppermint as well. And this smells really good. I've used it twice before, or twice before, twice so far. That was awkward. And it's a gel formula, so it's not super hydrating, but also not drying. Uh, it is sulfate-free and paraben-free. Native is more like a natural brand. Like their deodorants are aluminum-free. I really like them and I'm excited that they're kind of expanding and I want to try more. And then I got this random thing that I don't know why I got, but this is the Weston Arrow Neon Light and it just says Dream on it. I thought it would be cute maybe for in the bedroom or in my background just to give like a pink hue and it was like 10 bucks. I'm hoping it's not like shit quality to be honest. But I just thought it was cute. It was literally the last one. I was like, wow, like they should have had more that said different stuff. But this was the only one. It was literally 10 bucks. It was like an impulse buy. So let's hope that it's not crap quality. But I thought it was really cute just to give like a little bit of like an ambiance. So that is everything that I picked up at Target and then a couple little more drugstore hauls. I will link everything down below. And I think I'm gonna close the vlog out here. I know this is weird because I'm just not like familiar with vlogs. So I have to remember to like do intros and outros of stuff I'm doing. Hopefully this wasn't too bad. Let me know what you wanna see. I know a lot of you probably wanna see like more of Ian and me and Ian. And I think we'll try to kind of incorporate that. But just keep in mind that Ian works full time. So he's not here most of the time. So I'm home working, filming, editing. So a lot of the times I'm just here by myself. This weekend, unfortunately, we have to go to a outside service. His grandpa passed away. So this weekend's really full because we have to go out of town for that. So we're just gonna be busy this weekend and we're not gonna have a lot of time to be, I guess, vlogging. I mean, we're not gonna vlog, obviously, something like that. So we'll do the best we can. I'm gonna try, if you guys enjoy these, just to keep vlogging just randomly and maybe do like a vlog once every month or two weeks, depending. So I guess, just tell me what you wanna see. I don't know. It seems like a lot of the vlogging is like shopping or stuff like that and I'm not gonna like shop unnecessarily so just trying to find a balance of what you guys would like to see while also still just being true to myself so i hope this wasn't too horribly produced i feel like the footage i'm gonna look at it and be like okay next time we need a plan girl so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you want to see more of please subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next video